Libras, hello. Welcome to GQ Spiritual Guide. This is your April love reading. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you are handling our current situation well. I've prayed for you. So if no one else has prayed for you, I have prayed for you. All of my viewers, subscribers, my supporters, um, because I do care about you guys. You guys let me into your world. So I'm like, I care about you guys, okay? Um... But yeah, let's get let's get into these love readings for Libra for the month of April 2020. Please keep in mind that the roles can flip. This could be a reading for your cross watcher, but don't try to make it fit. Okay, uh, just take it how it resonates. You can also check out the sign of your love interest because you could have a message there as a cross watcher. Okay. All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Universe Source, what messages do you have for Libras in love? Giving them guidance, understanding, wisdom, knowledge, enlightenment, and truth. Truth for healing, clarity, freedom, and peace of mind. All right. Ooh, Libra, I have done your reading, just so you know, too many times, a few times already. I can't get it together. It, I get so stumped. It, 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 your reading has been stopping me in my tracks, okay? And I just can't, I couldn't finish. I couldn't understand, like, the messaging. Like, I didn't know how to read the cards. They were confusing me. I was like, what in the world? So I just kind of waited to do you last. So you're my last reading. Hopefully this will go up tomorrow. <laughs> These will go up tomorrow. And, um, yeah. All right, guys. last but certainly not least all right let's get the underlying energy here at the bottom of the deck the ten of cups one of the happiest cards of the deck ten of cups this is family bliss joy um it's all those good things ten of cups i like that well let's see how this ten of cups plays out mm. family there's comfort here okay let's see how this plays out for you Libra all right what messages of love do you have for Libra in the month of April okay two of coin so someone juggling trying to balance their thoughts their feelings something page of swords Okay. Are you juggling something? Why is it two of coin here? Okay. Oh. Okay. Maybe you're not sure if you should start something new, okay? To rebirth something. Start a new path. Take a leap of faith. Why is the fool card here? Oh. Because you received some upsetting news. Ace of Cups reverse. You receive something upsetting. Something that brought about sadness. Why the Ace of Cups reverse? Why is the Ace of Cups reverse? Ace of Swords. I think you did. I think you learned something. Ace of Swords. Mental clarity. Seven of Pentacles. So now you're evaluating, hence the Two of Pentacles. You're looking, you're watching, you're waiting. This Seven of Pentacles feels like um, the best way to describe it is watching and waiting. It's like when you plant a seed, now you're just watching to see it grow. What is it going to look like? What is it going to be like? How is it going to turn out? Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? I think you've, something came to you. Hierophant, Taurus energy. We have Pisces here as well. Um, Taurus. Why the Hierophant? Maybe a commitment that you're in, you're watching it. Why is the Hierophant here? Wait, are you waiting for a commitment? Oh, shoot. With a Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh-oh. Hold on. 
Um, Three of Cups. I mean, I want to feel like you want to re reunite with someone. But you want to see, like, if you should. But something, there's some type of clarity you received. Or decisiveness. Maybe you've decided, all right, I'll do this, but I'll reunite, but... I think you're waiting for something. And it's like based on whatever you're waiting for, whatever you need to know, is going to determine if you're going to go ahead and take that leap. Why is the Three of Cups here? Why is the Three of Cups here? Oh, Five of Swords. I think... With this Five of Swords, that's like something, like you're not sure if you're going to win this. Why is the Five of Swords here? Feeling defeated? Feeling defeated. Six of Swords in the reverse. Because uh, there's too many obstacles here. What is the energy behind the Ace of Swords? The Emperor. Reversed. The Ace of Swords, the Emperor reversed. Something, somewhat, maybe someone is too controlling. They're too stubborn. They're too something. Too dominant. Why is the emperor reversed? Okay, that's a lot of cards. That's too many cards. Spirit, can I get fewer cards? Why is the emperor reversed? Okay, maybe not. Oh, yeah, maybe. Hold on, let's see. What is that? Okay, uh, I'm not going to take those because that's too much. King of Swords reverse. Like, I, 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 uh, ha, somebody's too stubborn. And you're like, I don't know if I want to reunite with you. King of Swords reverse. Like, this is not a very pleasant person. Queen of Pentacles reverse. D oh. So you learned this about this person? Is that what happened? So now you're re I think you're reevaluating. Hey, if I want, if you want to commit a commitment with this person, that's what it feels like. But I don't think you're together. I think you aren't together, and you're saying, "Hey, should I get back together with this person?" I, I feel like you don't trust them. Like you're, they're sort of like suspicious. I'm kind of getting this with the Seven of Pentacles, like. I don't know. I'm, I feel like you're like, I don't know about you. Queen of Cups, Three of Cups. What is the energy behind that Queen of Cups? The moon. Uh, yeah, the moon. You could be done with the water sign. I think you just, you, you don't know what's going to happen with this person. There's something you don't see you know that this person is stubborn they're too they're dominant overbearing you 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 don't trust them or they aren't trust they don't trust like they have trust issues and i feel like this it causes issues over and over and over again with the six of swords reverse it's like one difficulty, one obstacle, one issue after another. What is the energy behind the two of coin? The stars. Why is the stars here? Hoping, wishing, and praying. Hoping and wishing and praying. Because I, it, 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 you guys have no trust here. Lack of trust, lack of stability. That's a nine of pentacles reversed. There's a lack of st stability. Trust. You don't trust each other. Or you don't trust them. Because there's too much. Why is the six of swords reversed? Hangman. King of wands. Hangman in suspense. It, you know what it feels like, Libra? It feels like you're kind of always on your toes. Like, 
you just never know when this person is going to go off. You get what I'm saying? Like, I, that's what I get with, with the hangman in suspense. The king of wands. Focus. Like, you know, it's like they walk in the house. You're, you're sitting on the couch. They sit on the couch. You're just like... And you could appear to really be watching whatever you're watching on TV, but in your mind, you're just like, any second, they're going to bring up something. Any second, they're going to nitpick and start a fight. That That's what it feels like. You have to walk on eggshells. So, yeah. Um, okay. Let's see. What, what What's going on? Let's see what's going on with your person. What's up with them? Coming up with all this crazy energy. The King of Swords reverse is not a good energy at all. There's nothing really, there's nothing positive about him. They don't have good intentions. Like they're, they're, they can be very evil and judgmental. That's why, yeah, you have the, imp, was it the Emperor reverse? Yeah. Because the Emperor reverse, um, no, yeah. The Emperor reverse is very dominant, headstrong controlling overly control excessively controlling oh lord okay so how does libra's person feel about the connection let's see how do they feel about this connection the justice hmm they feel like the just okay that's your card actually let's see libra why is the justice card here Whoa, that wanted to come out. Okay, let's take it. Um, Ace of Wands, reverse. The Lovers, reverse. Um, okay, maybe they feel like you have no... Like, you lack passion, like... Like, you have no interest in this relationship with the Lovers... With the Ace of Wands reverse, that's like, because upright is a passionate card, but reverse is like, no, there's no determination on your end. You lack passion, right? The lover's reverse is um, like someone who doesn't trust. That's what I'm getting. Untr untrustworthy. Is that a word? Untrustworthy? It's the word today. You guys know what I'm saying. Untrustworthy. Why is the lovers reversed? Man, you guys, oh my God. So you feel this way about them and they feel this way about you? Is that is that what's happening? Like you're always on your toes waiting for them because they are overbearing. But here they feel like you, you don't have any trust. Queen of Swords reversed. Like you kind of, uh, the Queen of Swords reversed, like you're like bitter or something. The High Priestess in the reverse. Um, the high priestess in reverse is like, maybe you don't understand them or you, there's something you don't understand. Why is the high priestess reverse? The three of pentacles, like maybe you don't know how to be a team player. <laughs> is that what they feel about you, Libra? Maybe they've said this to you. I mean, I, I, it, I'm, it all makes sense. You feel like they're too controlling and they may try to control you because they feel like you don't have any passion. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you don't, you lack initiative, like you don't take initiative with anything. Um, you don't know how to be a team player. Like they're like, work with me. So they may come off as overbearing. What is the energy behind the queen? Uh, swords reversed. That's a lot. Okay, let's try that again. Spirit, can I get fewer cards? What is the energy behind the Queen of Swords reversed? What is the energy behind the Queen of Swords reversed? Okay. Oh, the devil. Oh, man. Yeah, that's not very healthy. Like, it feels like someone is pissed off, upset. They're unforgiving, like they, they won't, they haven't forgiven. They feel like you haven't forgiven them or you're not forgiving. Like maybe you're bitter. 
which could un I I can equate bitter with not having passion for something because I'm mad I'm upset like you're not they don't look at you as being in, like you don't know how to be a team player maybe maybe you come off as selfish to them too what is the energy behind the justice oh so maybe did they do something we'll get the past energy um yeah like juggling a heartbreak like they could have done something and they're just like dude like are you going to ever forgive me like maybe they try to force forgiveness out of you force you to like participate be a team player in this cooperate because maybe you they did something to hurt you and you're just like listen what you did was shady like I, i'm not really quick to just be like hey honey welcome home how was your day let me rub your feet like you're not gonna be like that i feel like there's some there was some trust broken let's see what happened in the past between libra and their love interest what happened in the past the queen of coin okay could be dealing with an earth sign um Why is the queen, oh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Why is the queen of coin here? In the past, someone, okay, in the past, the, the sorry, what is this? Four of pentacles. The four of pentacles. Oh, yeah, okay. Seven of swords. So you're, I feel like your person possibly cheated, was sneaking off doing things. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Uh oh, but they, uh oh, hold on. But I feel like they, they could have stopped, right? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Knight of Pentacles with the Two of Wands. What is the energy behind the four of pentacles reversed? <sighs> Somebody could have been waiting to get married or waiting to for a commitment and they were just they they just grew confused maybe, right? So maybe there's just some kind of obstacle you guys have, you guys went through and I don't know, somebody was sneaking. What is the energy behind the Seven of Swords? Okay. Um, a tower, Six of Wands, something unexpected. I think somebody was cheating. I'm so, I don't know how else to read this because this is very unexpected. But I think you guys overcame it. Like someone, they stopped. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they stopped doing it with the four pentacles. And the two of wands. Let's see. Why is the two of wands here? Why is the two of wands here? Oh. What is the energy behind the Knight of Pentacles? What is the energy behind the Knight of Pentacles? What is the energy behind the Knight of Pentacles? That's the Queen of Pentacles again. So someone became unreliable. Okay, I I was I kind of get that. You, your person was unreliable because I couldn't understand why the knight of pentacles was here that's slow as moving night but it's not always that something's moving slow it's just that you can't depend on that person because I feel like they were hiding things with the moon keeping secrets and maybe they regret like 
leaving leaving the connection. Why is the Six of Swords here? I mean, yeah, like they feel bad. They felt bad, so maybe that's why they stopped, but they weren't somebody you could depend on. And I feel like they were really at a crossroads, right, with keeping something. Maybe they sh maybe they feel like they sh should have expressed this. Like there was regret with expressing this. Feeling stuck. Stuck in that energy of regret. Dwelling on the past. Man, regret is so, it's a, man, awful, it's an awful feeling. King of Cups, water energy. Um, definitely in their emotions wanting to maybe needing to express their feelings hmm well let's see what's going to happen between the two of you but in the past I, f I do see someone was cheating you felt like they were unreliable and like you couldn't depend on them like they had secrets secrets okay like they stepped out. They they stepped out on the relationship. Uh oh. All right. Well, let's see what's gonna happen between the two of you, Libra. What what is the potential outcome for Libra and their love interest? What is the potential outcome? What is the potential outcome for Libra and their love interest? What is the potential outcome for Libra and their love interest? Okay. Oh, the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Mm, this is somebody who's just unhappy, you guys. I don't think you guys are going to be happy. It's just going to continue to be unhappy, which I saw you guys were. Like, the both of you were. Why is the Queen of Cups reversed? Yeah, conflict, arguments, fighting. Why is the five of wands here? Ooh, ooh, okay. Oh, no, oh, no, Libra. Libra. Seven of swords. So someone could still be out doing something they shouldn't be doing. The devil is here. With the King of Swords, I mean, Libra, that's Libra. Well, that's an air sign. Why the King of Swords? Very toxic energy. Nine of Pentacles. Doing something alone. So you might start doing things by yourself. Because you're not happy with this person. There's conflict. Um... that devil very toxic i mean it feels toxic i didn't i don't even need the devil card to come out for this the storyline to feel toxic what is the energy behind the queen of cups reverse magician ten of wands uh just feeling burdened But trying to be confident though you're trying to you're trying to be confident you're probably trying to manifest something too like a way to release the burdens because you know you can't stay in that energy because this it, it feels terrible i know it does um Okay, well, let's get your advice, but I don't think things are going to really change between the two of you. You might start doing things by yourself. I mean, I don't know if this is an option, but have you considered just not being in a relationship? It just seems so, like, toxic. Why the Nine of Pentacles here? Three of Wands. Yeah, I, I think you're going to just... I think you feel like you deserve better than this okay let's get your advice rolling solo are we libra that's what i looks like 
All right. Libra's advice, please, for April in love. What is Libra's advice, please? What is Libra's advice in love? Oh, okay. The page, okay. Page of Cups. The Chariot, moving on. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, yeah. Okay, the Page of Cups reverse is a card of someone who feels insecure, they're sad, they have no desire. Like, you could really be depressed, Libra. Seriously. Why is a Page of Cups here in the reverse? For Libra's advice? Why is a Page of Cups in the reverse? Okay, pa feeling stuck, feeling powerless. Um... I guess when it comes to ending the cycle, to starting something, like you, I feel like you, you have no fulfillment. Like you, I, I think you're, you could be depressed. Some of you really could be depressed. And you are stuck in this energy of just sadness. You have no desire. The Page of Cups reverse is like a person who has no desire, no will. And I remember your person, the way that they viewed you was someone who had no passion and they didn't take the initiative. Because, yeah, they, I think they really, them betraying you really hurt your heart, your ego, your self-esteem, all of that. I think this is you needing some fulfillment. Why is the world card here? The Page of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, so the world is here. You're stuck in this emotion, right? The world. Let me get the energy of the world. What is the energy behind the world card? Oh, shoot. Eight of Pentacles, okay. Queen of Pentacles. Working on, I think it's working on your, what you want to do. Like if you have hobbies or a, a, a goal in mind, like set a goal, set, because that's what the Queen of Pentacles is. She is a business woman. Maybe you have to get your own thing going. Does this person take care of you? Maybe it's like, because I saw that moving forward, you would be doing more things solo. Queen of, uh, not Queen of Pentacles. What is it? Nine of Pentacles is a card of a, someone who's rolling solo, doing their own thing, having their own money. Maybe this is telling you to like uh, find something that you can do. Like if you don't work, like say you're a female uh, Libra and you don't work, this person is taking care of you. Like maybe it's time to go out and get a career or a job or a hobby or something to keep you occupied, something that you can call your own versus just worried about what this person is doing. Because with the Page of Wands, I feel like that's going out and exploring. I mean, I know we're limited right now. Um, but when that time comes, I mean, go full throttle. Go out, go find your friends, go do your thing, go be free, okay? Get grounded, get stable. Ten of Pentacles. Um, I think there's a need for stability here. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Okay, Queen of Wands. Fire energy. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Like, I'm almost getting like, step back into your sexy, you know? Why is the Queen of Wands here? Like, why is the Queen of Wands here? I feel like I'm strongly talking to a, a feminine. Knight of Pentacles reverse. Hmm. So. Hmm. Hmm. What is the energy behind the Queen of Wands? 
taking a leap of faith. I mean, I don't know. This could be, I mean, you could have fire in your chart. You could be dealing with a fire sign person. Um, but I feel like this, maybe this is your person. Okay, Libra. Like they are not going to put in any effort. Okay. Why the full card? They may start something new. Why is the fool here? Taking a leap of faith, starting a new path, but still focusing on the past. Still dwelling on the negative, feeling loss, feeling a feeling of loss. No commitment, unstable. This could, oh, this could be you too, though. I mean, take it how it resonates. If you feel like the information is for you, take it. That advice is for you. Take it, okay? But this is starting a new path. But this is that Five of Cups, though. Why is the Five of Cups there? I think it's like, in spite of you feeling bad, still go for it. Why is the Five of Cups here? Oh, okay. Oh, the strength. Okay, Leo energy with the magician. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so even though you feel like this, dwelling on the past, still feeling bad, don't. Try not to. Try not to focus on that all the time. Don't run away from it, but don't let it be your everyday focus, okay? I think there's here. There's time to take a leap of faith and... Find some inner strength, take control, manifest, you know, think about what you want. When I get the magician and it talks about manifestation, I think you need to think about what you want. Get a pen and a, a piece of paper or on your phone, wherever, and write down everything that you want in love, in a career, in your home, what kind of car you want, like what kind of friends you want. Like really do that so you can start to manifest that and try to bring that into your life so you can get out of this energy. This page of cups reverse energy. It's, it's depressing. And I don't want you guys to have to suffer. Like there's a whole buffet of abundance that you could be tapping into. But when you're at a low vibration, you don't you won't attract those abundant things, okay? So we want you to live your best life. Libra, live your best life, okay? Alright, guys. That's all I have for you. Good luck with your situation. Um Yes, be safe out there and uh, don't forget to hit the, the subscribe button and the like button and I will see you guys next time. Mwah. Deuces.